right, so Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Um, this one was released uh, on the soundtrack for a movie called Rush in um, 1992. And I always thought that Eric Clapton had written this song completely because it's such a you know, personal song, right? But uh, he actually wrote it with a guy called Will Jennings. And like I said, it was for this movie Rush. And... Uh, he, um, I don't know how the whole thing came about. I'll, I'll leave an article or a link to the article, the um, Wikipedia article in the description box below. And you can read all the details. But uh, apparently Eric had basically just written the first verse. And uh, he handed it over to a guy called Will Jennings. And he's a lyricist. He's worked with Steve Winwood. He wrote the lyrics to Higher Love. And he actually worked with a guy called James Horner, who is just, you know, one of the greatest all-time soundtrack movie guys. Um, and they wrote My Heart Will Go On from Titanic. So he wrote the lyrics to that. Which, you know, very great song. Great. Um, so a very talented guy. And uh, also, the guitar player on this, um, like I'm doing the live version, the MTV Unplugged version, basically. And the guy doing all, all that stuff is a guy called Andy Fairweather Low. And he's a Welsh guitarist, and he's kind of like a touring guitarist. He's played with like Edie Brickell, Emmylou Harris, Linda Ronstadt, uh, Roger Waters. In fact, he even played rhythm guitar on... Um, Joe Satriani's uh, first album. <laughs> a very talented guy, you know, very well-rounded musician. Anyways, okay, let's get on with it. Um, we're in the key of A here, okay, and there's there's two parts. There's Eric's part, and then there's uh, Andy's part, right? So I'm going to go over both those parts in this video. Hopefully, I'll have enough time um, to do them both. So, And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to play it, because uh, Eric is really into the thumbovers, you know? And um, the thumb overs in this song aren't that hard, okay? Not as hard as some other ones. And uh, it's really, in my opinion, it's the best way to play it. But I can sh I'll show you how to do it without thumb overs too, okay? So the basic lick starts like this. So we're just in A, standard tuning, and we're gonna, we're gonna hammer on from open E to E2 to open A. Now, I use my middle finger there because I like to keep that chord formed. It's kind of awkward. It's just the way I like to do it. You could go, you know, just with your first finger. And then we're going to go. And we're going to pluck the G string with our first finger there. Right? And then the B string with our second finger. Right? We got a little trill there back to the um, A note on G2. Okay, so that's the first little thing you gotta get. And now we're gonna go to this next chord, which is really just an E chord, you know? Like that, no, that's a D chord, that's an E chord. We don't need that note, the E note. And we've got it over a third in the bass, right? So we've got the G sharp in the bass. And this song is a great song to learn because um, to find out about chord inversions, right? And that's just a fancy way of saying a chord, like, you know, an E chord with a different bass note, right? Okay, that's all an inversion is. And this song is full of inversions. Okay, so we've got... All right? And, um, you know, you can do it that way or... If you can't do the thumb over, you can go like this. Middle finger on E4 and uh, G4 and B5. Okay, so. Now we're gonna slide that down. We're gonna do it with the finger style without the thumb. We're gonna slide that down. And instead of having our little finger here, we're gonna slide that down. So we've got G2, B2, and E2. So. And conversely, the thumb over way, right? Okay. And um, now is as good a time as any to talk about the thumb because the thumb is playing the bass line, right? So I'll just play that so far and just listen to what the thumb is doing.
right? So we're playing bass with the thumb. Right? And that's something, you know, I can't really go over that entirely because it would just be too long. But it's a kind of a feel thing that, um, you know, once you get those chords... You'll just sort of get the feel of it after a while, right? So anyways, we go from that, and now we're going to go to this chord, which is just an open E, and that's an A chord over an E bass, right? And, you know, if we're doing it this way, we're just going to do that. And then we're going to go to this chord, which is, you know, you probably know that one, is a D over an F sharp bass. And then open E, so we've got a D over an E, and then we're going to slide this finger down here, and that's going to make an E7, right? And then we're back to A. So that whole thing, I'll do the thumb reversion first. Open E, D over F sharp. And really, all you're doing in this song is you're only really playing the E string and the G and the B string, right? Or the A or the E. Uh, you know, the fingers, just two fingers, right? G string, B string, 99% of the time. Okay, so we'll just go over that again. Thumb over. And as you can see, the thumb over, you know, if you can get that thumb over there, <laughs> it's the simplest way to do it. It's the, the least movement. Now, if you watch early versions of, of him playing this, um, the guitarist will do this. You know, I do this. He goes like this. You know, he forms this F sharp minor. And the next chord, he's going to be here, right? And, you know, you really don't need to do that because you're fretting that, you're fretting that. You don't need it because all you're playing is that, that, and that, right? You're only playing three notes, so you don't need to do that. And if you watch in later videos, he just plays it like that. Okay, so that's the intro, and in between, or just that, right? A string, uh, G and B. And then the verse starts. Almost exactly the same, except here. Okay, so we've got that. D over F sharp, A over E, and then an E chord and you know sometimes I'll just I'll finger those notes anyways but there's really no point because we're not playing it. we're only playing the G string right and then we've got that lead up right uh, G2 A2 or sorry G2 B2 G4 B3 and then do it again Okay, now we're going to get to the next section, and the next section goes like this. So what we've got there is we're going to start out with that chord, which is the F sharp minor. And now we're going to slide that down, slide the thumb down to get the F chord, and we're going to play, you know, it's like a D chord, right? But down there so it's like a C sharp it's a C sharp over an F in the bass and we don't need that note right because remember we're just playing 
two fingers, right? So. Okay. Now we just let go of everything except the third finger. And that's actually what that is is an A7 over an E bass. But we don't need to fret that because we're not playing it, right? Okay, so. got this F sharp 7 and again we're just gonna play the G and the B string um. and what I do there is I just go so I'm gonna go G and B and then D and G so then lead that up to the suspended right and then we've got this B minor 7 and I'm gonna with the thumb right and we hit that open E on the off right so we've got I'm going to bring in my third finger and go D string, G string, and uh, B string. Right. And then we're back to the intro. And then the whole thing repeats, second verse. Right? Okay, so, so far so good. Uh, now we're going to get into the bridge, and the bridge goes like this. So what we're doing here is we're modulating up to C, right? And we're going to lead in with just open A, hammer on the B. We're into the C chord, right? And the thumb is going to go like this. And um, like on the record, it, it's just going. So we've got, we're alternating between the A and the D string there, right? Okay, and still just the two two fingers on the G and the B, although I changed it a bit there and I threw that in there. Just. Right? That's optional. You can do that or not do that. You can just play it simple. Or. Okay, so what we're doing there is we're leading down our little finger on uh, the B3 and A2 then A minor 7 and then uh, the D over F sharp and I'm still alternating that bass right bass, then E minor, then a quick, right, D over F sharp bass, G, and then repeat. Except this time, we go to an E7, and what I do there is on that chord, I go three fingers again. E, B, G. Okay, so let's do that whole bit real slow. Okay, and 
again, you don't need to do the thumb over. You can go like this. Right? Grab that that way. Uh, you know, little finger on B3. Uh, <laughs> third finger on G2. First finger on E2. Again, there, you know, I'm fretting the A and the D string. Don't even need to. It's just out of habit, right? I could just go. Right? And then we can throw that in there. And it's solo. Okay. And that's all the parts. All right, so that's what Eric Clapton is playing there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to shoot a, a, a separate video for um, the second guitar part. All that stuff. Okay, really, you should really watch that because um, there's some really nice licks there. He's a really good guitar player, and uh, you know once you get proficient playing Eric's part, you can. Uh, Maybe you want to combine the two and throw those in. Anyways, I'll save that for a second video. Okay, and uh, we'll just uh, end this one here. Okay, so I hope you get something out of this. Hope you enjoy playing this song. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you next time or we'll see you in part two.